evolutionary enlightenment is about a collective emergence, not merely about an individual attainment. So, so I think it has more potential than the old enlightenment for cultural transformation at the leading edge. But it's more challenging because, it because people have to cooperate with each other. <laughs> and that seems to be the real human predicament is how do you get people to cooperate with each other, you see? So you can have a bold, heroic man or woman, right? You can have special, extraordinary individuals, right, who go off and they do what they need to do, you know, and they're just, they're just these incredible examples of, of unusually committed, empowered individuals. But as long as the individual does this on, on, uh, on his or her own terms, by him or herself, we aren't going to get anywhere, right? So the challenge is, is how do we do this together? That's the big challenge. The rare individual is going to find a way to evolve on his or her own. They're, they're going to find a way to do it because they intend to do it, and then they're, they're just going to do it anyway. But the individual on his or her own doesn't have much effect you know, on the we. It's when we can move forward together that something big starts happening. And you see the, the, impl the implications for the leading edge of cultural development here are very big, very profound. This is the age of the individual, everybody. Age of the individual. We all do our own thing. We all do our own thing. Age of the individual. It's been 40 years of age of the individual, right? So we're not doing very well as a result of the fact that we're very narcissistic, very self-centered, very privileged you know, individuals that think far too much only about who? Number one. So this teaching is very much about this leap from the I to the intersubjective we. But it's not a we where the autonomy of the individual is blurred out. It's where the autonomy of the individual becomes empowered like never before. Usually a profoundly autonomous and creative individual has to remove him or herself from the experience of communion in order to express his or her creative potential, right? Isn't that right? Because otherwise you'd have to just you know, give up some of your own personal freedom and autonomy in order to be together with others. But, but in this non-dual state that many of you are going to experience, you know, what you find is, and this is the miracle of the teaching, is that you, what two things happen simultaneously. Number one, the creative autonomy of the individual emerges like, like never before, and at the same time, because the ego boundaries are fall away, there's no, sense of any, of, there's no sense of a gap or a wall between yourself and the other. So you feel, so it's a non-dual experience, because it, from a purely rational point of view, it doesn't make sense, but at the level of experience, this actually happens. So what ha you, you experience both the liberation of your own creative power and autonomy, and at the same time, any sense of boundary boundaries between you and the other, you and the others, falls away. So you, you, you feel no boundaries, which is what communion, the experience of communion is when you experience no sense of boundary with the other or the others, right? That's, communion is oneness with. At the same time as you experience your own sense of being liberated as a creative individual. It's when the one and the many merge. But when they merge, they paradoxically don't become indistinct. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the, that's the beauty of it. And, I, and I'm convinced that at the leading edge, that this is what the next step is. This, the only way to transcend nar pathological narcissism is through this intersubjective enlightenment. When we look at our, at our personal predicament in a cultural context, Right? We begin to see the, the need to go beyond this pathological individual individualism in such a way that we're actually going to be able to merge in a higher non-dual unity, not just as a spiritual state, but ultimately as, 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 a, as a normal way of being. Right? For, for the new man, the new woman, the new cultural potentials to emerge at the leading edge.